Hi, I'm Rod Lyon. I'm a head teacher of mathematics at Tomaree High School, and I've been involved in marking general maths since the inception of general maths in 2001. So I've been working my way through the grades and I've become a coordinating senior marker, which there's only six in the state. So I know a fair bit about the course and I've got some tips that I've seen coming through regularly. So I always ask the question of why are we here? So if those 31,400 students last year did the paper, approximately in the last couple of years, 5% of students have achieved band six and only 5% of students achieved band one. So if we think about the numbers now, if we're trying to put 30,000 students into the marks from 50 to 90, and we do that division, we find that every single mark is worth 750 positions in the state. So that means if there's one mark that you can find here, that means that is going to jump you up 750 positions. So it's worthwhile knowing the little tips that save those extra one marks here and there. Now a team of 12 markers will mark each of the 15 mark questions. So if they're marking 30,000 papers, the 12 markers have to mark 2,500 papers each. And at my marking rate of 50 papers per hour, that means they're doing 50 hours of marking. So it's fairly vital that you make your answers clear, neat, legible, because you don't want them taking a mark off because they can't understand what your answer is. Now the 2014 paper, it's the first time Mathematics General 2 is being introduced. So it'll have a multiple choice section that's computer marked, and the written section, it's going to be marked since 2007 electronically. The paper itself is a two and a half hour paper, exactly as it has been in previous years. It's got 25 multiple choice questions, and I'd be suggesting 30 minutes there for the 25 multiple choice questions, and five 15 mark questions, where you allow about two hours or 25 minutes of each of those ones to get your 100 marks in 150 minutes. Or if you think about that, that's a minute and a half you can take for every mark. So a four mark question can take you six minutes, and that's a lot of time. So take your time through those longer mark questions. And you also have to then consider if you're going to do the multiple choice first, some of those questions are going to take you longer than a minute and a half, but they're only going to give you one mark. So sometimes starting at the back of the paper in the 15 mark questions is a better suggestion. 30% of the exam can be from the preliminary course. So if you're a student who's moved into the general course late, you might get back and do some more work from the preliminary course to make sure that you don't forget some of that work. If we have a look at the structure of the paper, they have a three page formula sheet now supplied to you and we want you to use that now. On the front of the paper will only be your student number and your centre number. And we've noticed if I look at the specimen exam paper for um, the new Mathematics General 2 course, you write on the actual paper itself, which is a change from previous years. So that's something to take notice when you're doing your trial HSC that you'll be writing now on the paper itself. And you do not need to take working out paper into the exam because the markers want to see exactly what you can do on the page. 